Hi, welcome to EasyCA Tutorials. In this series, we teach you how to create your PKI infrastructure using EasyCA. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a root certificate authority. Usually we recommend having an offline root certificate authority, but if you don't have one and you don't have to manage the HSM and everything, we offer a secure online version of our root certificate authority with a few clicks. So all you have to do is go to our portal, portal.ezca.io, log in with one of your PK administrator accounts, and then go to certificate authorities, and you'll be able to create a CA. And here we're gonna select root CA. And here we're gonna enter the common name. So here we're just gonna name it internal root CA. And all these ones are optional, so I'm just gonna skip them right now, but this would be information that comes up in the certificate. So if it's something you need, please make sure to add it. Then cryptography. So cryptography is something kind of important. Uh, we default to the one that is the most secure, that is also the most compatible with most devices, which is RSA 4K, but you can select whatever you need. But if you don't have any specific needs, just leave it as default. Then lifetime and revocation. Same in here, we kind of set up for a five year validity period. And depending your PKI policies, you might have a longer lifetime for your root certificate. So you don't have to keep pushing it or a shorter one. So in here, we allow you to leave it, but uh, five years is a good compromise between how often you have to change it and the security. In here, you just have to add a notification email where people will get notifications. This is usually your PKI admin group or something. Either way, all the PKI admins will get notifications for this, but this is an extra email you can add for specific for this CA. And then lifecycle action. For root CAs, we recommend doing email because you don't want to auto-rotate root CAs because usually you have to pull push them to the clients and everything. So we prefer email and then someone else will go in and do it. And then Krill revocation will take care of all the Krill revocation and everything. We enable it by default. There's something you don't have to worry about unless you don't want uh, your CAs to have Krills, then you would turn that off. And then in advanced settings, we have the validity period and the overlap. So those are extra things you can play with. But once again, if you don't have any specific things, just leave the defaults and then Krill custom URL. So if you want to push it somewhere internally, we allow you to add that, but you are responsible from grabbing the Krill from EZCA and pushing it to that URL. So then we're going to click next issuance policy. This is a root CA and we're creating a two tier PKI infrastructure. So we're just going to do a subordinate CA and here we cal uh, calculate how long the subordinate CA's maximum life should be and we do it all automatically. So just leave it unless once again, you change something in your uh, lifetime and, and you want to make it either shorter or longer. And then for geo redundancy, since it's a root CA that will not be issuing many certificates on a day to day basis, we usually just do one, but you could add more locations and you could change the location where it is. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and just create. And as simple as that, now you have our root CA that is backed by HSMs and your key secure never leaves the HSM. You can download the certificate and then after that, you're good to go. So that's how you create a root certificate. Make sure to watch the next video about how we create our subordinate CA.